They're all from the farm compound. They often have a beard in like this. First one I've allowed to hit the emergency. Want it? Yes, it's a pity her husband couldn't come up here with you. Energetic. They're all drugged up and back of course. Get to see those curings now, Alan. Oh, fine. <laughs> you two and your tobacco. Ah, look, it's a wall up. They're, uh, they're nesting up there in the copy. Nesting, eh? Farm boys consider her a good luck omen. I must see it. You and your birds. No, hunt. You'll be fine. Okay. Take this with you. But it's old. This isn't your South African belt, you know. There's a terrorist war going on. Okay. Thanks. It's the smallest barn, but it's the best for curing. Let's hope this lot turns out as well as last year's, eh, man? Yes, let's hope so, Alan. Let's hope so. Yes. Yep. Fine. Now, Critter, sorry to interrupt your workout. Keeping the reflexes in trim? Could be. Come in, sit down. I want to talk to you about the future. Hope or statistical projection? You're, um, how old now? You tell me. When all this is over, have you, um, have you thought what you might do? When all what is over? Well, your work here with the Bureau. In this game, we don't retire. Or do we? Well, it has happened. Reflexes slow up, workouts aren't enough. Is this a complaint? <laughs> no, 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 no. But I think you should think about it seriously. There's only one way I'll retire, thanks. In a box. Of course, you could always be considered for a field controller. But frankly, with your personality printout... Get to the point, Angus. Now, let me see. English was your honours subject at university. So? Mm, well, it's only a suggestion. But how do you fancy yourself as a political correspondent? More your line. A nice uh, freelance engagement? As a cover, why not? Where's the mission? We're really so anxious about Helen Vanderman. About the Russian naval designs on the Indian Ocean we are. About the need for a peaceable detente between the white regimes in the south and the black regimes to the north, yes. And this could threaten that detente, one woman. The wife of a prominent South African politician. Precisely the sort of hair trigger to escalate hostilities. By involving South Africa? Exactly. OK, so what was the lady doing away from home? She was having a holiday with her brother, a tobacco farmer by the name of Johnson. No demand yet for a ransom? No, oddly enough, no. Hmm. Rundown? Full investigation report from the South African securities, DI-6 appreciation of the various freedom-fighting organisations to the north, 
and an inside contact with one of their high command. Complete documentation, passport, and an air ticket to north of the Ebony Curtain. Which is presumably where the freedom fighters have taken now. Where else? Hmm. Control? Ah, that's um, being set up now. Who? Well, uh, his um, cover name is Billings, Michael Billings. Who? Now, look, Quiller, this whole situation is far too critical to let personalities intrude. Lowman. Had there been any alternative? Adam Elder, journalist. Yes, I think that suits you admirably. Car ready? Yes, plus luggage and a suitable change of clothes. You'll be with Lohman for breakfast. Why should anyone tag me from the airport? Routine for Western journalists. I'll take your word for it. Any developments? There's been a ransom demand. They're offering to let her go free for two million rand in gold. Two million? Where? Instructions to follow. How? By airdrop. I meant, how was the demand made? Ah, by phone call to the husband at his home in Johannesburg. Substantiated? The caller specified the clothing she was wearing at the time of abduction. Action? London's been cooperating to the full with boss, South Africa's Bureau of State Security. But so far, they haven't done very much. Oh, they've uh, kept the uh, ransom demand from the press, but that's about it. The rest is to be decided by their cabinet. Coffee? No, thanks. Peppermint? No. Where's their report? We're sitting on it. How do I find the Freedom Fighters High Command? It isn't that easy. It never is. The liberation movement is divided. Sure. Celtic versus Rangers. Which is why I don't want to be bogged down with any propaganda from their tribal politicos. Even so, if you want to reach the guerrilla forces... I do. Well, they have a big training base, a few miles from here. Fine. You'll ever get in. Angus gave me a contact. Need to be pretty high-powered. Sandhurst, no less. Most exclusive club in the business. Oh. Well, do watch out for their so-called military advisers. They're all over the place. whites came to southern Africa they had the Bible and we had the land now we have the Bible and they got the land look commander you don't have to sell me on the ethics of your war you are indeed a friend of Angus we speak the same language what I don't understand are your methods <laughs> guerrilla warfare is tactically established Oh, subvert, infiltrate, swim with a stream. What the revolutionary textbook does not recommend is political kidnapping. What are you talking about? Helen Vanderman. Ah! That simply isn't your lead. No? You're not a mob of psychopaths indifferent to world opinion. Oh, which is why we always refrain from such methods. Until now. Oh. What newspaper are you with? The Daily Tribune. We have not abducted this lady. Mr. Elder, I can assure you we have no connection at all with her disappearance. As far as the world press is concerned, maybe you didn't take her. But as far as a fat ransom... Ransom! Let's say two million in gold. Where did you hear this? A reliable source. It is untrue. Try telling that to my reader. Untrue! Maybe they just didn't tell you. They? Your rival tribe. We are united. That's not the word in... Yes. All right. So maybe it's your friends. The ones who supply your arms and expertise. Explain. A lot of people are trying to find a political solution. Not easy when so many interests have to be satisfied. So? A settlement wouldn't suit your advisers. Revolution's their line. Hmm. 
<laughs> you must be very happy, comrade. Company? Just checking. Oh. How'd you get on? They were full of denials. Predictably. But also credibly. Hmm. At their level, that's how it may seem, but... At uh, all levels. You have been busy. I want to have a look at the other side of the border. The other side? We've already had a full report from Boss. And I don't buy it. What alternative? Look, Lohman, if you're fussed about authorization. The ruling from London was clear and specific. We stay this side of the ebony curtain. We? I don't need a wet nurse. And I don't allow you in alone without a contact. You don't allow No me. phone link to the south. No established operatives down there, no backup. Anyway, what's the point? If this Vanderman woman is anywhere, she'll be up here. That's the first thing the Freedom Fighters would have done. Assuming it was them. Well, who else? Ask me that when I've checked. You imagine it's that easy to get in and out? That border's been closed for years now. I've crossed closed borders before. But even then, you'd be excluded from the district where she was abducted. Why? It's a military zone. Your cover sets you up as a journalist. And as such, they never let you get past the main checkpoint. So I'll go direct. How? Swim the river? Cope with the security fence and minefields? Trek the odd 20 miles across the valley to the escarpment? Huge areas of impenetrable Jostthorn scrub, not to mention security patrols and roving gangs of terrorists? Adam Elder does have a pilot's license, remember? Oh, come now. Run the gauntlet. Choice of being shot down by a jet fighter from up top or blasted by terrorist missile from below. I'm prepared to take the risk. And if you did fly, and were lucky, what about landing? The place where she was kidnapped is a rich tobacco-growing region. Every second farm has a landing strip. Oh, fine. And you, floating down in a rented kite with registration markings showing that you came down from north of the border. Oh, come on, Bowman. Markings can be altered. Wait. Sir. You know the importance of maintaining contact. Sure. So use your initiative. What? Radio London, tell them I'm moving. You'll know where to phone me. Oh? The farm, Loman. The farm where she was taken. Hi, Commission. Come in. Ah, Billings on Channel 6. Get me London Director. Priority. Wilco. Contact. I don't read you, Billings. Oh, nothing. Just get me the Director. I'm sorry you couldn't contact me before, Billings. I was tied up with developments on your problem. Uh, a lead on that ransom demand. Boss have established that it was phoned from the kidnap area. Ah, oh, well, that tallies with our reading of the situation from this end. Yes, well, I want Elder in there right away. He's, uh, he's already left, sir. What? Well, well from our local assessment, it, it was an imperative. What? Imperative. Your southerly limit was the border, unless I ordered specific instructions to the contrary. Expediency, sir. Hmm? Expediency. Uh, and I expect to be in the capital tomorrow, midday, and shall resume contact from there. No, no, no. I shall, I shall need you where you are. I'll put another operative down there in the capital. How do they raise contact? Uh, by telephone. 
Buchanan's farm. Mm. Is um, Elder in the capital itself now? Uh, no, he's about uh, 80 miles north of it, at the farm where Helen Vanderman was snatched. I see. I take it he's mobile? Fully, sir. A light aircraft, in fact. Indeed, indeed. Well, he can liaise with our operative in the city when they arrive. Is he at this farm already? Uh, no. He's probably there now, sir. Again tonight. No. Uh, I offered, but they said to take a break. All right. You're not fit if you're not rested. Have you heard about the Terror's latest joke? A nuclear device? Oh, no. That's next month. Non metallic road mines. Little wooden boxes packed tight with the latest RDX explosives. They're immune to mine detectors. Then we're smelling them out with dogs. John. Sure. Yes, that's what blew up that native bus the other day coming from the tribal trust lands. So they end up killing 15 of their own kind. That's right. You want some cakes, boss? No, Chunga, that'll do. At least you can trust him. I don't trust any munt, especially the servants in Kenya, where to watch them like a hawk. Talk to that brother-in-law of yours again. Yes, I finally got through to Joburg after lunch. Mm -hmm. Any more on the ransom? He's going, but Donk is trying to raise the money. <laughs> Two million rand. Says the cabinet's still debating whether the treasury should put it up, but he's going to appeal to the Bruder bond. Well, those crafty old boars are not going to pay out gold to those bunch of months. Well, mate. Who's that? It's heading in this direction by the sound of it. Just hold on. Ah, it's all right, it's one of ours. Yeah, but whose? Well, we'll soon find out. It's coming in on my strip. <laughs> There's the name's Elder. Ah. I was uh, hoping to see Alan Johnson, the next door farm, I believe. Oh, he's closer than that. Since the emergency, he's been staying with me most nights. What's your interest? Helen Vanderman. Well, have you often the security people like? No, press. Oh, and from London too. Well, that's fine. That's fine by me. If we've nothing here we're ashamed of. Hop in. Mind you, that's not to say that Johnson will give you the same welcome. Oh? Well, he's a bit uh, twitchy since they grabbed Helen. That's understandable. Yeah, well, we'll see, we'll see. Hey, keep an eye on that plane, will you? Quite a place you've got here. Yes, I broke it in myself. Every acre of it from virgin bush. After you. Thanks. Mr. Elder. Oh, fresh tea, Chandra. Hmm? Teacher, teacher. Teacher. Right. Make up a bed for Boss Elder here, will you? Yes, Boss. That's very hospitable of you. It's also very practical, Mr. Elder. Don't risk coasting around the country districts after dark, Mr. Elder. Ah, sir. Only the patrols and the terrors. The terrors? Yes, the uh, terrorists. Ah, so chums of mine they are. Ah, twice they've hit the place now. First time was a rocket. Took out three rooms with just the one blast. 
Nasty. Ah, it's another time I was crop spraying. They pranked his piper cup. Oh, the Mamo and Kenya were amateurs compared to these boys. You were in Kenya? To the death. All oh, this lot here are well led, they're properly trained. And better armed than you. And they're good at the psychological nonsense, too, I'll tell you. How do you mean? Well, they daily their methods, keep us guessing. Farm attacks, landmines, missiles, ambushes. Well, now a kidnap. Yes. A mere hundred yards from the nearest barn. Leave it, eh, man. Mr. Elder, you flew up to see me. Yes. Daily Tribune. Don't you trouble to find out if it's convenient to call on people, Mr. Elder? Yeah? Yes, that's right. Well, say, for a week or two. Demography analysis, is she? Oh, it's very interesting for her. Yes, I know it's essential, but if you can spare her... Oh, good. Fine. Thanks very much. Yeah. Pompous ass. Yes? Excuse me, sir. Your call to Billings, Channel 6. Scrambler on? Yes, sir. Uh, Billings, uh, firstly, Elders Liaison is due in the capital tomorrow at midday, a code name, uh, Call Girl. Uh, Roger. Now, uh, secondly, uh, that contact with the Freedom Fighters. Sandhurst? Mm hmm. Yes, that's the man. I want you to get in touch with him and ask a favour to one of his field units operating in the south. Well, you're obviously strong on initiative, Mr. Elder. I'd never have got past the main checkpoint. Uh, what else could I do? I reckon we should tell the jock, eh? No oh, nonsense, I am. Jock? Not very well informed for a gentleman of the press, are you, Mr. Elder? Well, you can't know everything. Jock stands for Joint Operational Command. They coordinate the local PATU patrols. They're the police anti-terrorist units with the uh, security forces in the area. Alan here, he heads the PATU sticks. Five men, all local farmers. We're sort of a vigilante groups. Mm, home guard, let's say, out on search and patrol missions most nights. Must be hard on the wives. Oh, the ages are kept busy. Those that haven't gone south with the kids take turn about on radio patrol, field clinics, and so on. You see, we are an embattled community, Mr. Elder. The best tobacco land and the most beautiful scenery. We'll not let it go easy to a bunch of terrorists, even if they are armed with the latest Kalashnikov automatic. Well, Buchanan demands a journalist without clearance. This guest in my house, Alan, is my responsibility. Anyway, it's high time the Brits back home knew the facts. And on Helen, too. The night flight. Thank you, sir. I want you to check into the hotel and stay there on call until the mission is completed. The hotel? Full time? You're there as liaison backup. And nothing else? <laughs> Miss Allenby, when we consider you ready for promotion, you will be sent to Norfolk. Until then... Sit in the hotel like a vestal virgin watching the slaughter. Watching the... Oh, yes. That unfortunate business in the Gulf. Unfortunate? A man dead, a, a top agent, and I could have saved him. Only by breaking radio silence, about which your orders were quite specific. Oh, yes. Specific and meaningless. Sheer procedural red tape. Sir. I do realize, Miss Allenby, how traumatic it must have been for you. But um, you mustn't blame yourself. Or do anything. No initiative, no enterprise. And again, I just have to sit as a dumb liaison back up and obey orders. Correct. Your passport, an air ticket. You will operate under the code name Call Girl. Appropriate. Really? Now, this is a copy of the boss security report on the Vanderman ransom demand. I want our operative out there to see it as soon as possible. Who is he? He's a journalist working on the Daily Tribune. A chap called Elder, Adam Elder. You have um, operated with him before. As a call girl? Well, it's all in the national interest. It's an obvious precaution, really. You switch the light on in the empty room. And you sit in the dark yourself. Are you, uh... Are you familiar with these? Yes. Shh. Alan.
Hopkins, isn't it? Why didn't you shoot? I couldn't find a target. You didn't need to. Well, it's better than blasted by a rocket first, isn't it? So next time, shoot. I'll radio the jock. To report what? Look, Mr. Elder, something triggered that alarm. The dog, I'd say. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, the people on the next farm will have heard it, so I'll report. Understand? Was it the dog? Well, it could be. He's triggered it off before. Damn owls. I'm done after the flying ants at night. Drives them scatty. Still, we can't take any chances. Change your mind about a drink? No, thanks. About Mr. Johnson's sister. Ah, you don't give up, do you? She was kidnapped about a hundred yards from the farm, you said. That's right. There's a bunch of about four towers moving very light. But they also had about a ten minute start, but by that time they got her up to the copy belt. And that was that. Couldn't the dog sent them? Boy! No one knows at all. Hopeless. Cheers. Seems as if it was a well-planned operation. It was. They just had to bide their time and wait for the right moment. How could they know she was here? Look, I told you, Mr. Elders, we're not dealing with a bunch of idiots. And the farm boys and the servants, they have a ready-made intelligence network. Simply because they're black and you're white? Simply because they're afraid. It's an old Mau Mau trick. By slaughtering some of the local natives, you put the fear of God into the rest. Excuse me. Spokesman said emergency measures were being considered. And in Pretoria, there have been firm denial of the two million rand ransom demand for the safe return of Mrs. Vanderman. Despite these denials, demonstrations have continued throughout South Africa, and the issue of full scale military support against the terrorists is again being discussed tomorrow. Damn. The weather. Again being discussed and nine the ransom. What are they playing at? Can't keep up this pretense of date time. Not now. It's not a pretense. They know it's their only hope. Rubbish. Look, South Africa's reports. It's a farce. Look, you don't bargain with months. You don't bargain with the United Nations. You tell them. Hell no, that's man. What happens when you start bargaining, Helen? That's what happens. Your own now, sister. Look. We're not dealing with humans. We're dealing with savages, man. Don't you think it's time you went to check the temperatures for the curing? Yes, I think maybe it is. Cannon's one of the old guard settlers, eh? Duff, no nonsense. Works himself after death and expects the same of his farm boys. Hardly conducive to a multiracial society. For that. For Mac, all that ended with the Mau Mau. To the death, he said. Yeah. His wife. Makes for a hardening of attitudes. That didn't take you very long. The dog. I think I found out what all the fuss was about. I told you. Savage. Check. Thank you. I'm an editorial manager, African section. Ah. Oh. Among other journals, uh, our group controls the Daily Tribune. So, the enterprising, Mr. Elder? Yes. With friends in high places. Oh, Mr. Angus Kinlock. <laughs> Quite so. 
And now your fellow, Mr. Elder, stole a plane. Hired a plane? Legitimately? Stole. Hired? He flew south. Counted the ground control instructions south all the way. We do have radar, you know. Oh, I'm sure. So why are you here? Another favor for Angus? If it is possible to get a message through to one of your field commanders in Northeast region. A favor? What kind of war do you think this is? Well, surely you must have radio contact. We aren't the only one with sophisticated armaments. Sorry. The whites have German equipment. Fix all our radio contact months ago. But you must have other methods. Such as? Carrier pigeons? Native runners? Bush telegraphs? Uh, well, for emergencies. That um, helicopter outside. Go in low to avoid their radar. And catch it from one of our own trailer missiles. So, what was this message? I gathered from Mr. Elder that you are denying all responsibility for the Vanderman kidnapping. Absolutely. Mm. Well, Commander, uh, Mr. Kinlock picked up this rumor that the ransom demand could have been telephoned from in the capital. Down south? Yes. So it occurred to us that the kidnap could have been made by one of your urban uh, freedom fighting forces operating in the city. I see. Oh, we're working independent of your field force, of course. I think we're due to make another inspection down in the northeast zone. Uh, excuse me, I... Oh, I we do say... have our ways, Mr. Billings. In emergencies. Well, after last night, you should have quite a story, Mr. Elder. How is Johnson this morning? He's pretty shaken. It definitely was her finger in the box. Mr. Buchanan, boss. Well? You come back, boss. What the devil's happened now? Band, boss, quick. Come with me. I can show you where they snatched Helen at the same time. Now, hold on, will you? Buchanan? Yes, I have. Hold on. Elder? Yes? Yeah. Who shall I say? All right. It's for you. Oh, a thanks. Young, a young lady. I'll uh, catch you up at the bars. Right. Adam Elder speaking. This is Germaine Allenby. You may remember. Yes, of course I remember Miss Allenby. Good to make contact again. I thought you might be interested. Actually, there's quite a story behind my presence here. I have a pretty exclusive story up here, is it, Helen? Oh. Well, you'd have to come down to the capital for this one, I'm afraid, and soon. It can't wait. And not if you want it exclusive. How soon can you get down today? I suppose so. What about this evening? Mm. What time? Six? Seven? Mm, say eight. They've been on to me. I have to get back to the capital. See your lady friend. And to file my story. Just tell them the facts. Sure. Probably see you again tomorrow. Fine. Reception. I'd like to make a call, please. Poor devil. Well, looks like they've taken Elder, all right. You might sound a little more concerned. My only regret is that he didn't get the filer's report. Is that all you can think of? He's a British journalist. I mean, man, don't you understand? If he's been kidnapped, 
We'll have all the friends we need. Look, these are people you're talking about. And this is a war we're fighting, Alan. Have you forgotten last night already? That's your patrol now. You better let them know. Uh, what about the joke? I get in touch with them. I'll see you later, then. Do you know where you're heading for tonight? Not yet, no. You might try that coffee belt again. It was the same bunch. I may have taken them up there. Up with that registration yet? Oh. Down from the north. Uh, just as I thought. Well, thank you. Thank you very much indeed. The commander, you know already. Me, Butterfly McKinley. How do you do? Hello, reception. I'm sorry, but that farm number, would you mind checking the exchange again for me, please? For your next headline, man. Any suggestions? Oh, plenty. What about Underman woman taken by whites? Why should the whites want to take her? We haven't got her, and that's for sure. Who else but them? Hello? Is Mr. Elder there, please? Are you the young lady phoned earlier? Oh, I'm, I'm glad you rang. Yes, Miss Taylor's been trying to get through to you, but I'm afraid in these country districts, the phones are toss up with the devil. Is Mr. Elder there now? No, I'm afraid you've missed him. Oh? Yes, he had this chance to go out on one of our night patrols, but he, he said if you rang, to ask if you could come over tomorrow morning. Well, I suppose I could hire a car. Oh, that's fine. Earlier the better, he said. Just ask for Buchanan's farm. I'll clear the checkpoints for you. Right. Thanks. Alan Johnson, Buchanan, we know them all. How? Intelligence. How else? So what's your intelligence on Alan Johnson? He's trouble. Why? He treats his farm buys too good. Plenty rations, sugar, meat, extra money, school for the children, clinic. And that's trouble? For us. Because his workers won't cooperate with you. These are tribal people. They see no further than their bellies. Buchanan boys easy. We hit his farm. Show them we are strong. They join us, help us, get us food, information. It will write for subversion, in fact. If all whites was like Johnson, there would be no war. But they're not, which is why we bring you here. We haven't got Helen Vanderman. And that's the truth. But if the worst comes to the worst, to victory, Buana. My name's Germain Allenby. I think we spoke last night. Yes, we did indeed. Is Mr. Elder back from the patrol yet? He's over at my neighbour's, Alan Johnson's, over at the barns. Come this way, I'll show you. Thank you.
Don't move. Take a close look, Elder. Your sister? Do you see what we're up against? I'm sorry. What are you doing here anyway? I thought the terrorists had got hold of you. They had. They picked me up as I was about to leave. Wanted to give me their side of the story. So, now you have it. Maybe. Didn't you see what they carved on her? Tell that to the world. To Hurst, take over. I'll send up a photographer. Helen was a member of the Progressive Party. Do you know that? Yes. It's not easy in South Africa, believe you me. She's not the only one. Even here, I've... I've tried to do my bit. Okay. So I'm a farmer. but it's not at anyone's expense. I pay well. They have a roof over their head and enough to eat. If they're sick, there's a doctor. I've tried to encourage them to save, give their kids some education, so, so don't talk to me about reason. You saw what thanks I got. My boss? Philoloba. Yes, boss. I mean, well... Was what happened to Helen the work of a reasonable man? I still don't think the freedom fighters were responsible. It doesn't matter. What do you think? The photographs will be enough. No matter what you write, it will be them that are believed. I think it was a re-European. You're crazy! No civilised man could possibly contemplate doing what we saw tonight. Where's Mr. Buchanan? He goes low, madam. Oh, Lapa. What low, madam? Oh, come by car. Is she young or old? Oh, young. Redhead? Yes. Where did you say they were going? Lapa. Low bands, boss. Will you? What are you trying to do? Make a country, man. A country. And a profit into the bargain. Would you call the loss of wife and child a profit? Are they supposed to die for nothing? Am I to let it go back to the way it was, nothing but bush? And Helen Vanderman? Was she a sacrifice too? A victim of war! A victim of vengeance. 
he killed the Vanderman woman? To make it look like a terrorist murder. Right, Mr. Elder. Now, Miss Allen, dear, and you. I don't think Westminster will be so soft on these terrorists in future. You? You can it? Sideways, Jimmy. Thanks, Chunga. Boss. How did Buchanan manage it? The abduction. Chunga thinks the old guard boy and his brother helped him. Been with him for years. Would do anything for him. Buchanan must have been sick. Deranged. Yes. How's Johnson? Oh, he'll be fine. They breed them tough around here. Something wrong. What happens next? Will the truth be told? It's not our concern. <laughs> if it had been one of the freedom fighters, it would have been. It's not our concern. That's for the politicians. My concern is that you disobeyed an order. You said we'd meet without fail. Your job was to radio London and tell them I hadn't made it and await further instructions. If the truth isn't told, there could still be all-out war. You do realise that. Being a trifle unfair. She could have got herself killed. Mm -hmm. She wasn't the only one who disobeyed an order. That gives you no right to pitch her into a red sector like that. Ah. Tomorrow morning's Daily Tribune. This story of how Helen Vanderman was savaged to death by a marauding leopard. First class stuff. What? That should satisfy all concerned, don't you? All concerned. I had to do a little re-editing on your original, but uh, it's a grand scoop. Who make a journalist of you yet? Given time. <laughs> <laughs>